Hey everybody, it's Steve Lee and I am back here again with another Divi CSS quick tip for you. Uh, first, I wanted to say thank you to everybody for joining the uh, Divi CSS Share Facebook group. Uh, just in the past day, we passed uh, 1,500 members, which is awesome. Uh, thank you guys for, for joining and sharing and contributing any kind of, uh, any kind of CSS help amongst the community. Um, it's, it's certainly awesome. So today's video is about, um, is a question that we received online in the, uh, Divi web designers group about, uh, about changing the, or, or slowing down the hover effect when you hover over a button. Now, uh, the, the short answer for that is yes, super easy to do. In fact, you can slow down that transition, the hover transition for just about anything. Uh, I don't know of anything that you couldn't do that for. And um, today I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this case here, this is the um, the standard Divi button module. And uh, we've got it set up to you know just change the color of the background and the text on hover. And you can see what kind of speed we're dealing with here. That's not uh, that's not too bad. It's a nice uh, nice easing transition, um, but in our case, somebody wants to slow that down. So what we've got to do for um, and and this is the steps you would take for for anything is you would um, go into inspect element using your uh, developer tools and find out you've got a you've got a target this button so in our case we're doing a button it could be a blurb module it could be it could be anything really and then you can see here where the uh, i'm going to click on hover and change the the state to hover just to make sure we've got the right the right thing that we're targeting here so this this is what we're targeting and it's that background color that uh, in particular that we're going to change today we can see where it goes from this powder blue uh, to this darker blue here so background color is what we need to target with our CSS. Now let's go into the uh, into the Visual Builder here, and I'll show you where you can where you can change this and, and add this little snippet in. So we're going to go into the button module and go into the Advanced tab, and under Custom CSS, we're going to go to the Main Element window, and then you're going to click into the uh, into the Hover section. And from there, we're going to add in, and I'm just copying and pasting here from my other screen, <clears throat> transition, which we're, we're controlling the transition of the background color. And we're going to change it to, we'll say, 4.1 seconds. So uh, now there is one thing that you would want to do before you, um, before you paste things in here. Go ahead over to um, Auto Prefixer. Um, dot github dot io and paste that into the uh, the left hand side and it'll output the, um, the the prefixes for the other web browsers to make sure that this is compatible with as many web browsers as possible. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste that entire snippet into here. And again, these are just uh, this is just making sure that it'll work for um, for all the different browsers here, but this is the original CSS code. And you can, like I said, you can adjust the hover effect for, for anything, the, you know, the transition time. All you would change is, is this here, background color. You know, you could change that to just say color and, and it would affect the text color, or you could do it for, um, you know, for blurb modules. It, uh, you can do it for anything. So this is the transition. This is, you know, what, what you want it to affect, and this is the time. So you, you could change this to be anything. It could be, you know, a, a half a second. It could be 20 seconds. And what that looks like here, let's get this saved up, and we'll exit back out to the, uh, to the live screen. And now you can see here when we hover, it's got a nice slow fading effect of that, um, that background color. And if you want the same thing for the text color, you could you could do that too. You would just kind of keep keep filing it in line. So uh, that's all I've got for today. Super easy stuff. I'll put that snippet down in the um, down in the description. And feel free to leave any comments uh, if you get any more questions or anything you'd like to see, um, you know, worked out or demonstrated. Uh, I'm always happy to. And uh, if you haven't already, head over to the Divi CSS Share Facebook page. 
um, feel free to send an invite and uh, we'll get you right in. And uh, that's, a, that's a good group there. We've got a Trello repository that has a bunch of CSS snippets in it and uh, you know micro animations and, and effects and things like that that uh, that we've all kind of compiled as a group, which is uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, so that's all guys. Have a good one. Take care and bye bye.